Hey kiddos, so this week we are celebrating Earth Day. On the 22nd, we get to celebrate our wonderful Earth. And we've also been talking about energy and resources this week. So um, this is a great experiment that we can do this week to talk about um, preserving our rivers, okay? All right, so we're gonna do a simulation here with Freddy the fish. So we're gonna go ahead and put Freddy in his little river. Okay, so this is Freddy the fish. He is a happy fish that lives in crystal clear water, enjoys the shade of tall trees, and gets lots of insects to munch on each day. He's feeling pretty good. One day, Freddy wondered what was beyond his little part of the river. He decided to go on a little journey and explore. He heads downstream because he's ready to see the world. Along the river, Freddy first comes across a spot where bulldozers are taking out trees and clearing land. Soil and dirt roll into the river because there are no tree roots to hold the soil in place. Poor Freddy gets soul in his gills. Without the trees, Freddy notices he is feeling warmer. As Freddy continues down the river, he spots some black and white animals moving closer and closer to the river. While these animals are getting a drink, uh-oh, they drop a little present into the water for Freddy. Freddy is not impressed by the smell or the sediment that's being stirred up. As Freddy rounds the corner, he has to dodge a golf ball that nearly lands in the river. The golf club likes to keep their courses looking nice, so they use a lot of fertilizer. Unfortunately, when it rained last, it caused it to run off into the river. Freddy noticed that this area had a lot of tall plants growing and actually was starting to feel smothered. However, Freddy was a trooper and charged on. He was determined to see all the river had to offer. After a while of swimming, Freddy began to notice a salty taste to the water. And he started to feel the sting of salt in his gills. All the salt that was used on the roads in the winter had worked its way into the river. Ouch, that hurts. How do we think Freddy's feeling now? I don't know if he's such a happy fish anymore. Freddy continues on and passes a picnic site at a local park. As he's passing, the wind began blowing litter into the water from the park. Freddy is starting to feel a bit distressed, but he keeps moving on. It begins to rain, and Freddy notices that this rain is different. It turns out this rain is actually acid rain caused by air pollution. Along the river's edge, Freddy comes across an old abandoned factory. There are a lot of toxic pollutants and rusty materials seeping into the river. This creates a sludge in the river. Freddy tries to swim through it. After struggling, Freddy finally gets through the toxic pollutants in the river. Freddy notices a man dumping oil from his car into the river. Then oil gets into his gills and he starts to have difficulty breathing. He gasps and takes his last breath. Boys and girls, this is obviously just a simulation and just a story, but it does give us the lesson. It teaches us the lesson of taking care of our rivers and being thoughtful with our trash and making sure that we dispose of things properly so that we don't affect the animals around us, okay? 
All right, your assignment with this, you have a writing assignment this week. I want you guys to think about um, why you love our earth and you love our planet and want to help take care of it and ways that you can do that, okay? All right.